We have this radar set up for uh, a CW Doppler measurement. Uh, shown here is the radar test bed. At the very bottom here, um, we have a YIG tune oscillator with a plug in for 8 to 12 and a half megahertz. It's uh, set to CW mode at uh, 10.2 gigahertz. Now up here, we're not using uh, the next two uh, chassis, this one and uh, that uh, HP oscillator are unused. Up here, we're using the power supply and uh, interface to the uh, National Instruments Data Acquisition Card. We're not using this power supply up next. We're not using the IF or these attenuators because that is for a different system. Uh, this test pad is meant to work with numerous radar sensors, so it can be reconfigured for whichever one I choose. Um, at the very top, we have this, uh, this uh, FMCW unit here. Here is the uh, LO cable from the, uh, from the YIG oscillator. This is the video output. This is the DC power. Then over here we have a uh, computer with LabVIEW uh, running. So a simple uh, VI has been written to uh, record the uh, Doppler information off of the uh, video output from this radar. So if we look at the screen, I can show you when I put my hand front, it's picking up the uh, Doppler of my fingers waving around in front of the antennas. Okay, so when to, to run my uh, radar systems, I use National Instruments LabVIEW, and uh, these these radar systems were developed uh, for my dissertation and master's thesis work at Michigan State University. The primary interface between the computer and the uh, LabVIEW card, which is a PCI 6014. The primary interface is this box here. It, uh, try to focus in. This box contains a power supply, motion control, uh, and the uh, linear FM uh, uh, chirp that is used to modulate the radar system. So let's take a look inside. Now I'll zoom out and refocus. Yeah, inside you see a uh, power supply, DC power supply here, linear. Uh, this this is the um, ramp generator. It's an analog ramp generator which is triggered digitally by the uh, PCI-6014. Uh, back here is a uh, motion uh, stepper motor controller for the linear rail. This is the power supply for the linear rail. Uh, you know, switch, fuse, rectifier, is what, what not back there. This is an um, active low-pass filter down here for the DAC output in case we want to use that uh, to modulate the, um, the, the YIG oscillator. Back here is the breakout board from the uh, from the cable that goes to PCI 6014. And we'll take a look around back. In the rear, we have several uh, BNC connections. We have uh, you know, power, fuse, motion control, goes to the motor. This goes to the uh, DC power to the rest of the radar systems. Again, we can run five systems off of this one box. Um, these are the different ports, so we have uh, analog input, uh, video from the radar systems. We have the DAC filter DAC output, trigger lines, the ramp output. Um, this this triggers the uh, this this fires the uh, ramp the analog ramp generator. That's the input to the analog ramp generator. Again, here's the cable from the NI box. Right now, we're going to demonstrate the uh, X-band uh, CW radar uh, as a Doppler radar configured in Doppler mode. So it's currently set to 10.2 gigahertz. What we're going to do is have a race. My friend Alex is here and I'm here. We're going to see who's fastest. Uh, rather, who <laughs> reaches the maximum velocity. Not so much who gets back the fastest, but who gets up to the fastest speed. So, uh, if, um, you know, do you want to go first and I'll just get ready? Sure. All right, ready? Okay. Uh, okay, on your mark. 
Alright, get set. Go. <laughs> it's all about who's the fastest. It's running. Oh, it? Yeah, it's just recording a lot. All right. Whew. Let's see what we get.